In this video, I'm going to show you how to purge a Shimatsu auto sampler and pump. So what purging means is you're flushing a lot of mobile phase through the system to kind of get rid of any bubbles that you might have. You don't want bubbles in the system because that's going to lead to a noisy baseline. There's a manual purge, which you do it just from the front panel on the system, and there's a way to do it in the software. So let's go over the manual way first. Here are the pumps here, and this is the drain valve. All you have to do to open the drain valve is to twist it like that, and then that's open. So you can see here the way that the pumps work is the mobile phase comes in through here, it comes up through the check valves, and then into the drain head here. And if the drain valve is closed, it'll go down here, and then it'll go to the mixer. If the drain valve is open, then it's gonna come out the side right here. So this is the tubing for the drain, and then it'll go out here to the waste, okay? So make sure that when you're purging manually that this is open like this, right? And then if you wanna purge, there's just a button up here that says purge. So you can hit that and then it's gonna start purging. And then if you wanted to stop the purge after a while, you just hit that again. So if you wanna start the purge, you just hit this and it'll tell you how many minutes it has left to purge. And then if you wanna stop the purge, you can just hit this guy over here. So that's how you purge manually. Let's go talk about how to purge within the software. Now, when you're purging through the software, you generally don't need to open the valves, the drain valves, because normally it'll just purge through the auto sampler. Where you go to the purge setting is you go to data acquisition. The method parameters are up here. Where you wanna go to is this tab over here that says auto purge. And here you can specify which mobile phases you wanna choose, and how long the purge time should be. And if you just simply check this button, then you can purge the auto sampler as well. And if you wanted to specify a warm up time, you could do that if you'd like. When you save, and then you wanna go ahead and save the method file. So the purge is now gonna be part of the method file so that when you run your sample, it's gonna be there. If you did this within a batch, so if we go to real time batch and we go to a wizard, and you went through the, um, let, let's just say you went through here for the real-time batch. The auto purge, if you check this here, then it'll run it for the batch as well within that method that we just set up. And then in that case, it'll just purge through the auto sampler. Other quick shortcuts too, is if you wanted to just do a quick purge of the auto sampler, there's this button if we go to data acquisition. If you wanted to just purge the auto sampler, then there's also this button here where you could do the purge just from clicking here. Hopefully I've purged any confusion you might have had regarding how to purge this stuff. See you in the next one.